welcome back to the Innovation Labs. So it's time for another uh, video on, on this converter. So in my last video I showed how you can uh, configure this converter and I actually did a review on it. It's one of the uh, cheapest and very effective uh, converters out there, you, which you can get on eBay or Amazon. So I am going to show you how you can make a very cheap universal uh, battery charger out of this. So in this video I'm going to show how you can build a very simple, very super simple um, universal charger using these two components right here. So the um, I would say the major component that you will need to build this um, universal charger will be this um, DC to DC boost converter. I made a video for this converter just to go over the specs. So if you uh, want to learn more about this, you can go check out the video. So very simple. This converter is very simple. So it takes in uh, input voltage on, 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 this is the input side of the converter. It takes in about, for this video, we're going to put in 12 volts here and uh, have an adjustable output, vo output here for charging different batteries. So and here you, um, will be your input, uh, sorry, output current adjustment. So and this here is your output voltage adjustment and that's it. So if you know the battery you're going to be charging, you know the specs, you know the, uh, the voltage limits or current limits. So you can set this guy to it. Being a constant current converter, it will just maintain that current for you until the battery is fully charged. And the next uh, component that we're going to need is this server supply and uh, you can easily get this from Amazon or eBay. So um, this is capable of doing 12 volt output. It takes 110 input and gives you uh, 12 volt DC output and it can go, it, it can deliver up to 65 amps, which is a lot of current. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So let's get to the connections and actually try to use this to charge your battery. So in a nutshell, uh, what you're seeing here is the setup that you need. Um, so we have our server supply, AC comes in here, the input of the supply. The supply is a, has already been pre-configured and we have our output here, uh, output of the supply, 12 volts, goes into the input of the uh, DC to DC boost converter. Then we have the adjustable or variable output here to match your battery that you're trying to charge. Then we have our power monitor here. So now let's make the connection. So I had made these cables to be able to uh, uh, make it easier to con uh, configure. And this, we also uh, color coded everything. Red goes to red, black goes to black. And that kind of co corresponds with, so here is the positive because V in plus, V in negative, um, that's V in uh, input voltage, positive input voltage, negative. Then you come out here and uh, so you have your output, output voltage, this is your output voltage negative, output voltage positive and make sure that you double check everything because um, you don't want to have a reverse polarity on your outputs, that would not be good. Now we connect the negative terminal. terminal. And that is pretty much it. So now what we have to do at this point is to connect, bring in the AC. There you have it. So now if you look closer at your, at your power meter here, 
So this parameter, sorry, the output here is configured, is adjusted to 14 volts. Um, for, and, and that is for charging a 12 volt battery. So, um, so if you look at it, the output current is only at um, 111, 110 milliamperes. So, um, which is pretty much the current that this uh, power meter is drawing. So now let's try to connect a battery to it and see what happens. So what you're seeing here now is a 12 volt um, lithium phosphate battery that I built for uh, my solar generator project, so which I am trying to charge. So let's see how this charger will perform. So we have already configured it to 12 volts. So the yellow the terminal here is the positive. So we'll plug in a positive charger cable. And this is our negative. Plug it up negative. So as you can see, the battery is charging. Now let's bring the camera closer. We have 12 volts coming out of here, coming in here. Then we adjusted it up to um, to uh, 14.3 volts. Then we can see here, and this is what we're using to charge the battery. So we can see here, going zooming into the charger, into the uh, power monitor. So you can see uh, the battery voltage is at 14 volts. Output current is at 5.23 amps. And uh, yeah, this monitor gives you a lot of uh, information. It tells you about external resistance and I'm not sure how accurate those are. Um, yeah, so, um, so that is it for charging a 12 volt battery. Unfortunately, I have two of these batteries. So the reason why I call this a universal charger setup is because you can, this charger can, you can attune, you can adjust the voltage to about 60 volts. And I believe it can do about uh, 20 amps. So that way you can really charge. If you know the specs of the battery you're charging, uh, uh, voltage and current specs of the battery you're charging, you can carefully adjust this. And most uh, lithium phosphate, uh, lithium ion battery packs are designed with uh, battery PCM um, or a BMS that will protect them. So it's such that even if your, your voltage setting is a little bit off, it will still um, prevent the uh, batteries from overcharging. So what I have here now um, is a 24 volt system. 12, the battery I showed before, which is a 12 volt uh, lithium phosphate battery pack. So here you see two of them. So which is so this is a 24 volt system. So now, again, the reason why this is a, 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 a universal charger is that I, I, am, I should be able to adjust the output voltage coming out of this converter to allow me to charge the 24 volt battery almost at the same current or even higher. So uh, yeah, let's see how that works. So here, if you look at the, um, the converter, this is, this is our current adjustments. We're not going to change that, but over here, is our voltage adjustment, which is this uh, potentiometer here. So we are going to adjust it to um, about 28 volts. And while we do that, we keep an eye on the power meter to make sure that um, we don't exceed that or that at least the adjustment that we're making, that we're capturing it properly. So now we have 14.3 volts. So we adjust it up. You can see the voltage is going up. 18 volts, 20. Twenty-seven, uh, twenty-eight. So we were before 14.3 volts. Um, from my research about charging a 12 volt LiPo pack. So now we have two of them. So we do times two of that. So it will give us about 28 point well, let's say 28.6, just to be on the safe side. 28 point, okay, 28.6 right there. So our current still remains 
uh, current limit, I believe I set like a six ampere, six amps uh, current limit, which is uh, because this battery has been charging, I'm not all the way depleted. So we may not be able to uh, see the six amps here, but I believe we'll see above five amps. So now we have connected the positive, uh, sorry, the negative of the 24 volt battery. Um, so now let's look at the, um, the power meter to see what's happening. So if you go down here, you see the overall voltage of the pack is 27.6. Uh, meaning that the battery is not fully charged and you can see that we're putting in 4.16 amps into the battery pack and, um, and it also shows you the accumulated capacity on the battery um, in uh, milliampere hours which I think is uh, cool yeah so so there you have it so if you are if you need uh, something like this, you need a, a quick charger instead of spending a whole lot of money on um, You know chargers that are very limited you can uh, If you're somebody that is handy and you know how to build things this would be something that you could try this converter uh, This boost converter is very is quite reliable. I've used it a lot of times I actually have a, a few of them here that I use for other things and this um, uh, server supply it's also very reliable it has a lot of protection overload protection and uh, it has few internal fuses so you don't have to worry about and it has cooling fan so uh, if you listen closely you can hear the fan running so you don't have to worry about anything so keep an eye on this and this guy comes with a good heat sink uh, if it gets like a little bit hot you can put a fan to it uh, if you want but if you're charging a battery you're running like less than five amps through this thing um, you don't need yeah I don't believe you need a fan so I've used it many many times no issues so yeah that's it that's my uh, universal charger setup um, give this a try uh, but uh, make sure you pay attention to uh, um, your uh, uh, the polarity of your battery and uh, also the uh, input and output polarity of your um, converter and everything should be fine and if you want to know if you want to see how I configure this uh, to be able to give me an output go check out my video on this uh, I will link it into this video so you can go check it out and um, also if you want to see the review I've done on this boost converter check out the other video I made for this boost converter all right and uh, let me know if you would like to see how this is configured it's very simple. Uh, this parameter is very nice, but very it comes with it comes in with a lot of uh, uh, wires and you know um, the shunts that you have to uh, configure. So that way you can measure. I, th I think what it does is, is measure it measures the voltage drop across this shunt, then does a calculation to know what you know what's the current flowing through it is. So that way you can uh, you know kind of determine your charging current that way. All right, uh, that, that's it for this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab to see um, more projects coming up, to see what I'm doing with this, what I'm gonna be doing with these batteries in my, in my uh, solar generator design. So uh, I just wanted to use it here to test this universal charger, but subscribe to our video so you see more exciting stuff. Thank you, thank you for watching.